Hey, it is Big Cat coming back here live with a new episode of Pokemon Stadium, episode 4, I think. Oh, anyway, I got Lackey with me. Do you introduce your Sue? It is your boy, Dank Meme Senior. How's it going? Yurt. Alright. Resisting. Well, aside from that, though. Um, so we're now doing the Kanto side, which Kanto side is a lot quicker because it's just so one. If you're just fighting the gym leader, you're not fighting any trainers. So. Yeah, there's not really much more to say than that. <laughs> Which I kind of thought that was a weird choice that you wouldn't fight any gym leader, but I can't remember if in um, Crystal, if you had to fight anyone aside from just them. I actually cannot remember right now. I need to replay Crystal. I've played in a while. Mm hmm. Quickly recapping the last three episodes, we went through the entire Johto side, to do four, and uh, Lance as the League 4 champion, and for this side we'll be going through the entire Johto, or Kanto side, the gym leaders, plus we will be fighting the Indians. But Red has a really weird team. But you'll see what I mean when we get to it. It's like Brock and Misty and all that. Mm -hmm. Brock Misty. For this episode, if I remember correctly, we do Brock Misty, Surge, uh, Erica, and Jasmine. Or not Jasmine, uh, Jamie. I think it's Jamie. I think that's her name. It's uh, Kug uh, Kuga's, uh, Koga's dog. dog. Oh, I think it's yeah. I'm surprised they didn't give him, like, nine tails. Because I mean, like, in the show, he has a wolf if something that got involved in the tails well, correctly. But they didn't really give it to him, he just had a rock tail. Which is interesting. Oh, almost all rock tails, he had Pinsir, I forgot about Pinsir. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to two. But, uh, like I guess it goes back to, you know, just, like, shows really shot. random. Bam! Those are the random teams for them. How's that? Oh, that was weak. The white hot battle continues. I kind of wonder if they did remake the game, and what teams would they choose for? Fire punch. A power blow. Oh, and down it goes. This has turned into a one-sided battle. Oh, it's on it. This is the last Pokemon! Marks are flying from Pokemon. Speaking of Onyx, I hope when the uh, new Scarlet and Violet comes out, they do the uh, crystallized version of Onyx. That'd be really cool to see. There are no more remaining Pokemon! That's it! Yeah, no, this episode's gonna be relatively quick, or kinda quick. You kind of just stay in the moment. The app and the game is like super duper threatening. It's just steamrolling them, drop kicking them down, beating them. Now, the funny thing is, I, apparently, from the looks of it, I didn't test this, but I think you can actually just go and battle whoever you want. You don't have to battle them in any order, you can just battle all of them. I mean, I'm going in order because it feels the proper way to go in order, but. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. So I know, because, I mean, of course, these are like similar Pokemon to which you fought like in the original games. But with them doing just three. With a three, three v three. Like, these are all water type Pokemon besides like two. Yeah, so normally, like, they will. They'll have like some of their main Pokemon that you've known that they have, like see she'll have that Star Bean, Gold Dug. Um W6, like mainly from the anime. Like as I said, I don't know where the hell Sun Flora came from. Like I would have thought she would have had like Gyarados from the internet at least, but no, she has a Sun Flora. I don't sure remember quickly, I think she does. I don't know. The only thing that pissed me off though was at the end of this fight, her Tokatik. Um, it was showing the game, just doing some little bit of cheery. I'll point it out when it happens. This 
complete bullshit, but I mean, I stole one, so it didn't matter, but still. Oh, wow. Who would have known? Yeah, this goes back to the whole weather type move, say, predatory type. It's like, you're psychic on your soon. Huh? Your better choice would have been to use psychic immediately. I don't know why the hell you decided. Let's go on rain. It was perfectly safe against the game guard. Yes, it's going down. Which call me stupid. Where it's hurt. Oh, it's on Flora! And other two, I don't know why she used Rain with Sunflora. I mean, I know it helps, like, with increasing the damage from fire moves, but. Sunflora is at a huge disadvantage in this battle. Now, will the downpour and the lightning move, like, make the lightning work other. even better? So, with Rain, it uh, makes it so that if you use the move Thunder, Thunder will never miss. Oh, it's Fire Flute! Uh, but other than that, it boosts water moves by the uh, no. I only swapped out here because I didn't feel like it was purposeful to keep um, Gengar in in the rain, trying to just fire punch repeatedly. When I just had to poke my new Sludge Bomb in the back. Also, the reason why Gengar doesn't know a single ghost or poison is because Watch Gengar is only a special attacker and ghost attack. and poison type moves are both considered physical gym wow. games. So, there is really no point to play. I know Gengar can run it usually do pretty well to damage, okay, but his damage output and his other moves are a lot better. So, there's no point. Yeah, this Pokemon was bringing out the bullshit. The number of remaining Pokemon is 3 to 1. This battle has become one-sided. The Pokémon is returning to Watch the move it uses and watch what happens. Oh, it's Lantern! So basically what just happened, he used Metronome and became a weak attack immediately. I left uh, Biopod in there, we got hit with a super effective move. Let's keep watching. What will this Pokemon Switch have on the battle? There's the attack! Thrill no heat! Oh, exactly what it needed to slow me down. Hmm. You thunder wave! It's split by paralysis! So it would have used something. If you would have had the other Pokemon out, it would have been what against you. Pretty much. Right and I chose to swap out to Gengar right there. I would have gotten fucked for that one. Could this be it? Yeah, it, it's Metroid on was a little bit too precise. <laughs> the last Pokemon goes down. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. You be oh look, I got the card exactly what I needed. Sounds like some bullshit to me. <laughs> That's just how the Pokemon games are sometimes. Like, especially when you get into like the tournament games, like when you get into the late tournaments, it just it, they bring out the bullshit. It's just like, wow. This is why I used to grind. I have my fire type uh, Pokemon. Ah, I have my grass type Pokemon. It'd be a shame if it was level 200. I think with Surge is the only one I think that has a team that actually makes sense for him to have, like the full team. Although I kind of wished one of his Pokemon were actually evolved to make it a little bit more interesting of a fight, but his team at least it makes sense. If I remember correctly. Is. I, love his, I love his design in this game. Yeah, but the only thing I wish he had uh, evolved was Porygon. I wish he had a Porygon too, and that would have actually been a decent team. Um, but all his Pokemon seem like they actually make sense, which is weird. I don't know why, but it all seems off. 
because all his Pokemon are electric except for Porygon, and they're all Pokemon that I've seen him with before. I don't think I've seen him with Lantern, but I think in Heart Gold, so Silver, because he has a Blink Turn in that game, I think. But even if he doesn't, it kind of makes sense for him to have one. Chunky rat. <laughs> I know. Adorable. We need to bring back his chunkiness. If you Thunderwave, it's too thick. It slipped my paralysis. <laughs> that one shorted out. Hang on, Earthquake! Bulldog! It went down as soon as the battle started! That's when it's like one hit moves. No, so if it's one hit move, he'll literally say it went down on one hit or something like that. He only says it like every once in a while, unless it's like a 1 KO. 1 KO, he'll say something different, but usually he'll say it's, uh, it went down in one hit. A sharp attack. That's right, yeah, he crit me right now. Like, wow, complete BS. <laughs> Showing how tanky Lantern is. It's a fierce battle. Now, is it just that Lantern or both of y'all? I mean, my Lantern is also very tanky too. Here comes the Pokemon Switch. Oh, it's Toro! What now? I think our lantern is actually a semi boost though, because mine has Surf, Thunderbolt, Confuser, and Thunder Wave. I think his has something very similar to that. I think, but I would never know because Tauros is faster. There's the shot! That's it! Oh, it go back! Just one Pokemon remains! Oh, it's Porygon! This is the last Pokémon! The number of remaining Pokémon is 3 to 1. This battle has become one-sided. What's that? Also, I don't know if this is the max return damage, I think. But I don't think the happiness of the goal is high enough. What do? So I it's think the return is off. Slightly damage. Also, of course, she gets a paralyzed in the first try. A 10% chance. Mm -hmm. Just why the fuck not, I guess. Yeah, but like I said, we're steamrolling through them pretty quickly in there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you actually aren't really that hard. Um, I will say this, Erica and Jamie are a little bit annoying. They're, they're quite a bit annoying. Also because Erica randomly has Vaporeon because she does, for some reason. Just don't know why they gave her that. She also has a Venusaur. I was like, why does she have a Venusaur? I don't know if ever she can use a Venusaur like in the end or show or anything. I don't remember if I ever had. But here she just fucking has a Venusaur. But why though? <laughs>
Her team doesn't make any sense. It's a battle against Erica of the Celadon Gym, a trainer of grass type Pokemon. Yeah, she has a really great team. Hey, at that point, you're gonna give her a good mess for her, we'll give her a game name at least, too. Top Pokemon. I don't need that. I don't, I still don't understand the Vaporeon. I really don't. Dude, no, no. Please don't get me cancelled. Oh, an abrupt Pokemon! Your viewers will love it. Oh, it's Vaporeon! What'd I say? <laughs> What's the opening gift? That didn't accomplish much. Oh, that was weird. You were doing a fire move. Against a grass type leader. But Vaporeon is tanky. Yes, Vaporeon is very tanky. I actually thought Rick was going to die here, but Vaporeon like, just held on barely. Oh, that was a critical Ruben, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. They're ready to go. Here comes the Pokemon Switch. Oh, it's Electro! Myth, the wonder, the legend. What now? That's it! <laughs> oh, it looks like you're winning? I'll be ashamed if I self destruct. The flow of battle. I mean, wow, <laughs> I'm sure it does have explosion for a reason. <laughs> oh, we no strength left. It's in. <laughs> what no. Pokemon will appear next? That's all it takes right now. Oh, it's the awesome. Wow, uh, explosion was like at its Number best in Gen 3. Or, for example, I think it was as good as it was until Gen 3. Gen 1 was good. No, I Gen 3, or at least yeah. Gen 3 or Gen 4, it, it like half your defense before doing the attack. There it is. So, Knockout. it's already 250 power, but it would half the level with one's defense and do even more damage. It's, it's, it was crazy. Which Pokemon will join the battle now? My Pokemon name. have been no. I completely forgot about what that scene, but when you brought it up, it actually fits perfectly. <laughs> because even though technically Technologist is not a um, starfish, he does have five points. His feet, his hands, his head. <laughs> you get a pink shiny. And you get a pink shiny. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. It's down to the last Pokemon now. That's fine. I have a newfound love for Tangela, oh, but when I this? still come to it's find out why I have some months, but for right now, just know I have a newfound love for Tangela. That settles this battle. That's it! Stay clear! That Pokemon carried me through such bullshit, it was not even funny. Yeah, looking back to a character design, I want to do like other the characters in this uh, game a bit more. I like a lot of their designs. I don't know what it is. I just don't know why I particularly like it in this game, but I just do. I can't remember why, but I. I... Oh, yeah, no, her battle was annoying. I remember what her battle was. I think she tries to mimic Kogo with either like the toxic and double team bullshit, if I remember correctly. It's just like, why? What do you gain from tormenting me like this? Name. 
The opponent this so time is Janine of Fusion Jim. She inherited her outstanding battle smart from her father, Koga. Let's see if the challenge of Pokemon can stand being poisoned here. So today we're bringing Milk Tank. Well, we're actually bringing Milk Tank. Oh. Man, I'm a great shot. Okay. A psychic blast! For but Jim Green was a force wrecking with, but in this game he kinda has like a little kinda shitty move. As soon as the battle started. It's kinda sad. This battle is intense right from the start. Oh, it's Statler! And I hate this Pokemon. I have a new found passion for hating this thing. Like a severe found passion for hating this thing. There's the shot. But that's another episode for another day. Ooh. A flash of confused red. He's become confused. The heated action continues. Hey. Commands are made. The Pokemon is returning to its Pokeball. Oh, it's Tyranitar! What's that? Ah, that didn't do much. How will this Pokemon switch? Oh, this is what happened. Yeah, it called me a bird because I was wondering how stamina was faster. I think it's because it had a um, big ball, but it's just actually faster. That uh, was pissing me off, it's just like. And then this happens. Oh no, it attacked itself! Oh, I missed that. It's a fierce battle. <laughs> Both get ready to go. This Pokemon is switching out! It's not the only confuser at bullshit, because they would have pulled it with this Pokemon. Oh, Sandler's one of those Pokemon's like not that great, but in Gen 2 or Stadium, they just make it a constant for one that just does not ever miss an attack or something, and it always hits its confuse rate and just screws you over repeatedly. I, I hate this Pokemon so much. I hate it so much. Like, it's almost superseding my hatred from Paris, and I got my hatred from Paris from playing Versus Legends, but that Pokemon was an asshole. One Pokemon <laughs> remains. Fuck that Pokemon. And fuck, uh, Sam, oh, too. It's Liger! It's down to the last Pokemon now. The number of remaining Pokemon is 3 to 1. He's just sitting there like, eh, what you gonna do about it? What? Nothing? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's right now, she had Ice Punch instead of Giga Drain, but... Uh, Giga Drain's also a really good coverage option, though, too. Look at that swagger! Oh, its confusion made it tougher! <laughs> you see why she's tough. annoying. Let me just do swagger. Here comes a Pokemon! Then confuser, then swagger, then confuser, then swagger, then confuser. This Pokemon is that is all she does. So this still could seem to be... Uh, confused when it's in the Pokeball? No, when you swap them out, it gets rid of it. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? This Pokemon it's attraction kept it from attacking. The Here comes the confusion. Oh, its confusion made it tougher. The heated action continues. Yeah, at this part I was having aneurysm. <laughs> The trainer switching Pokemon. They said this game they love spamming attract. They love Pokemon spamming Toxic Thunder Wave. Anything they can to keep you from attack, they will spam it. Nasty toxic! Wearing the bow down appears to be the plan. Poison. How will this Pokemon swagger the flow of that attract? And it's faster too, which is the worst part. There's the attack! Oh, its confusion made it tougher! <laughs> it's utterly confused! Oh. It's yep. a fierce battle! They prepare for battle! What the reason why I stayed in here is because I was expecting her to go for a tract. 
so I stayed in to um, take the attract, so when I swapped out into the Alakazam, it would just be a slash into the face and it'd be fine. Was not expecting her just to go for slash, and also was not expecting to actually hit with surf, so yeah, that, that happened. Anyway, this is the end of the episode, Big Cat is signing out. Sign out, Lucky. You gotta sign out. For me? Yeah. Oh, glad you're signing out. <laughs> it's the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going. I, so you signed out last time. Okay. All right, do it.